Alright, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to a stream. Uh, we are starting The Walking Dead Season 2. We wrapped up Episode 5 of Season 1 earlier. Whew, we lost Lee. We suffered. Twice. <laughs> I can just choose which chapter I want. Okay. So we gonna start all that remains. Let's get started, fellas. Important season one to season two. I am build off season one to the consequences. Do you want to automate surgery consoles? See you, okay. Season one, so you now need to choose a safe slot from the season one occasion choice. Okay. So we did this. This is our file. <coughs> As you can see, the last time I played, uh, I did I did 400 days like extra bonus content DLC stuff. That was I was bored one day last year in January and just fucking did that. But I haven't actually played the first season in 2021. So this is our file, which I did say since the mods that previously this was my first time playing. So What's your name? Recap. I'm Clementine. You've been all by yourself through this? <laughs> I know who you are, and I know you're a killer. It's how the world works now! Lee, are those bad people dead? I hope you know what you're doing with her. I got it! Molly said Crawford is the only place left in Savannah that still has people. That means it must be where my mom and dad are. Okay, you can come, but you have to promise to stay quiet. They showed Krista out of order. That was Clementine? weird. Clementine! Clementine! They didn't even show Kenny or anything. Like, what the fuck? I know how to be a dad, you know. She wouldn't be exposed to what she has been with you. <laughs> Die! Lee, I saw my parents. Come here, sweet baby. You have to shoot me, honey. Lee, no. The Domed and Krista. What do you think? Okay, I was like, I told her to go be with Omid and Krista. I was scared for some We are not doing that. Why not? Because. She big pregnant. Come on, Krista. What's wrong with Omid? We're not calling our baby Omid. One of you is enough. Clementine, a little help here? Omid the second. No. Omi Jr. No. What if it's a girl? Then we name her Krista. But I'm Krista. I don't want to call her Krista. That's just confusing. So name her Genevieve. I don't care. How can you not care? You're not taking this seriously. I take everything <clears throat> seriously. Especially little Omid's future. Keep talking, and you'll be sleeping in the rain tonight. Remember that time in Barstow? Vegas weekend. Why don't you, uh, uh, get cleaned up in the girls' room, Clem? I hope the sink works in there. I wouldn't count on it. Just be careful and make sure to keep track of your things. We'll be right next door. Okay. 
Like, she pregnant, y'all still trying to fuck it out? <laughs> He's thugging. Hello? She gave him that look look, too. She was like, remember that time in Barstow, motherfucker? Bring that ass here, boy. <laughs> Just about a manhandle his ass. Oh, gross. Please have water. Figures. Sucks, bro. But I don't know why I was at a rest stop anyway. Why don't you just find a river or like a lake or something? Bro, how you gonna fumble your water? How you gonna fumble the water? Yeah, that's our bottle. I wrote on the wall. It's just one where it says, oh. I thought that was our squad. I thought that was Christopher for a second. Why is Clem whimpering, bro? Busted big time, yeah. I see you. Get out of there. You're not fooling me. Who are you? None of your business. Are you Damn. gonna hurt me? Only if you're stupid. Get out here. Got anything on you? Come on, let's see. No, that's all I have. That's it? How'd you make it this long? I'm serious. What else you got? That's it. Don't lie to me. I'll pop you. Give me what you got. I'm not screwing around. Come on. Please stop. Give me that hat. No. Where'd you get it? I asked you a question. My dad gave it to me. Just give it to me. Junk, junk, junk. Look at all this junk. Shit, shit, and more shit. Why you ain't got nothing good? Not like the last people I got. They had all kinds of good shit. That was a good catch. You ain't got nothing good. You're just a little fish. You gonna cry, little fish? 
This your daddy? What a bozo. No. So we're just starting off with the death of a main character? Out the gate. Chris didn't even aim, bro. She could have easily accidentally shot Clem instead. So that's how we started with season two. Krista, talk to me. She's not pregnant no more. This will never work. <clears throat> Look at this. It's pathetic. The wood's too wet to burn. It's more smoke than flame. At this rate, we'll be eating this for breakfast. What else can we do? Find something that'll burn, maybe. I don't know. Won't be easy in the dark and in the rain. You should be doing this, not me. Tending a fire so you can cook and stay warm. It's something you have to be able to do, Clementine. Otherwise... Her hat kind of scuffed up. <clears throat> Omid said that I know what Omid said. Damn, bitch. I'm freezing. You think this is bad? Wait till we get up to Wellington. Then talk to me about cold. If we make it. We still have a couple hard months ahead of us. This rain will turn to sleet. Then ice. Then snow. It won't be easy. Is it safe there? Safer than here because of the cold. Or so they say. We just need to keep moving north. I wish Omid was here. I'm gonna go look for more wood. You just keep the fire lit. Oh, the fire's going out already. Find the lighter. She has a photo of Lee. Is that a, the drawing of Duck? And her, yeah. I 
some other little random shit in it. But yeah, she really didn't have shit. I don't blame homegirl for being like junk and shit. <laughs> she really don't got much on her. Like she didn't even got like a, a power bar or anything in there. Is there anything I can get to burn? No, it's just fire. Does light the bunny directly on fire, or, uh-oh. That is a bunny, right? Better, but still not enough. The flames are too low. And this won't burn. A uh, log. This might burn. I might snuff it. Hopefully, it's dry enough to catch fire and doesn't snuff out our flame. I had an option to burn the photo of Lee or the drawing of Kenny. The fuck. Hear people yelling. Killer. Heard like a punch and then a gunfire. Get the fuck over here now, fucker. How does she not see her arm, bro? Shit! Get the fuck over here! God damn it! Nami. Nami. Mama. No mama, bitch. You're not good and you're not me. You're not us, you're not me. Yeah, buddy. Get your little bitch ass hat off me, boy. Get your bitch ass hat off me, boy. Get your bitch ass hat off me, boy. Previously on The Walking Dead. 
climb motherfucking dead. She kind of got hard body karate right there, but yo, she handled her own against a grown ass man. <laughs> the fact that she lived and it washed up on a bank is beyond me. Kids camp. Damn, we're not tall enough. Oh, never mind. Sign in his head. Got a sign head. Low key, I'd pull that sign out and use it as a weapon. It ain't much, but it's something. Grave. I got peas on my head. Don't call me a pea head. Can I walk faster than this one? No. Oh, there we go. Walk to trail. There's something rummaging in the bushes. I'm assuming it's like birds, though. Yeah. Another sign. Be aware of your surroundings. Bears, coyotes, mountain lions. Am I being stopped by a mountain lion right now? I think I'm being stalked by something. Unless it's just the ambience of, like, the birds still. Oh, I was right. Oh, maybe I was wrong. Fucking birds, bro. It was just fucking the birds. So annoying. <gasps> oh. Smile land. It's a dog. Sam. It's hey, okay, Sam. Boy. It's okay. <laughs> Sam. Sam. Well, nice to meet you, Sam. Sam, do you want a hot dog, buddy? What's he doing? Sam! Sam! Where are you going? Wait up! 
I don't trust a dog barking. Sam looks a little scuffed up, but that don't mean he don't have people. Is that a VW? Looks Move you more. Over. But you never know. Love more. Let's look around. Yeah, we hungry. Food. Yeah, cause she didn't even get to eat that rabbit. She had a fucking dip. Her and Krista. Hey, Krista lived. Looks like they were a happy family once. I hope they left some food behind somewhere. A little doll? Hmm, nothing edible. It's impossible, bro. A little disc for the dog. Hey, wanna play? Wanna play catch? <coughs> yeah. Okay, bring it back. Good boy, Sam. I'll play again, Sam. Wanna go again? Go get it, Sam. Yeah, good boy, Sam. I bet you miss this. I sure do. Let's go one more time. Go get it, boy. was good while it lasted though, right? Yeah, you're right. Shouldn't waste the energy anyway. It's not much of a tent anymore. I bet scavengers tore it apart. That shit is fucked. Empty can? <sighs> Empty. Better keep looking, huh, Sam? <coughs> What's the matter, Sam? Me. We have to be quiet. <coughs> it's okay. He's dead. Look, you can see the bite. Looks like he tried to cut it out. But that never works. Ever. It's okay. We're smart. He's not. We're smarter than all of them. Some of their heads have more dexterity than others. But I feel like this guy's freshly turned because, like, his head ain't crushing in. And, like, other ones, like, they one tap them and they just, like, smush into pieces.
see. We just have to stay out of their reach. I like to think that if they were alive, they'd probably want to help you. Nothing. Nothing in his pockets. I got a free knife. pretty sharp at least we found something useful we won't go another night without food okay <sighs> well here we go the sound of the flies in my headset are Grossing me out. I fucking hate flies. Oh my god. Thank you. Family style. Look, Sam. A can. <laughs> Let's see what's inside. Please don't be bad. Pour him down some, bro. I guess you are pretty hungry, too. <coughs> Here you go. I would pour some on the ground. Hey, you don't eat it all. <laughs> hey! So I said pour some of the food on the ground. You don't hand food wild animals to begin with, like, you know what I mean? Like, I would have poured some on the floor for him. And now he's, now he's gonna die. Yeah, we have to kill you, Sam. <sighs> Not like I want to, but... Fortunately, buddy, you did bite us, and you are going to suffer. I'm not gonna leave you suffering. I'm, up. I'm sorry, Sam. That's a pretty rough bite, though. I mean, you've got food now. You can eat the dog.
No, low key, I don't blame her. I'd be fucking hurt too. I got bit by a dog. I'm basically starving. Ah, shit. Walkers are coming, girl. We gotta move. I think, I think we're safe. Yeah, yeah, we're good. Hey, you all right? I can walk. Oh, was that so? Because last time I saw you, you could barely crawl away from that lurker back there. Look, you're in bad shape, kid. I'm in bad shape. How dare you? What are you doing out here? Where are the, uh, the people you're with? There's no chance you made it this long on your own. I don't want them thinking we're doing anything but trying to help you. I'm alone. Everyone I know is gone. It's just me now. I'm sorry to hear that. I just lost a sister. We've all lost folks. Not a yeah. sister. I'm Luke. And this is Pete. Hey there. Hi. Thanks, Pete. I'm Clementine. And it's nice to meet you, Clementine. But for now, we're gonna take you back to our group. Okay, we got a doctor with us, and <clears throat> like you could use some. Oh shit! <laughs> what? What is it? She's. She's been bit, man. Fuck. 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 What are we gonna do here? <sighs> no, it was a dog. I didn't see any dog, Clementine. Come on, kid. We just saw you with those lurkers back there. I can't remember the last time I saw a dog. It was. I swear. Swearing doesn't make something no, so... No, no, no. I'm telling you the truth. Please. Hmm. All right. Let's see. It. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, watch yourself. Hey, don't look at me like that. You're the one that's bit here, okay? You have to throw me on the ground, bro. See? Is it, uh, is it like she says? Hmm. Well, it could be a dog. Hard to say. So where'd this dog go? The one that did this. Now, what, what does that matter, Pete? Seriously. I, I killed it. What? Really? A dog shows up and bites you and you just kill it? What would you have done? I don't know. It attacked me. Still, you don't... You don't kill dogs. I mean, if I'm attacked, I'm about to fucking kill it, bro. Clementine? Yes? You telling us the truth? You look me in the eyes when you answer. Yes. Hmm. Well, Alright, Clementine. That's good enough for me. Well, what else was she gonna say? I've got a good bullshit detector, Luke. That's why you can never beat me at poker. <laughs> you don't always beat me at... All right, how can you be sure? Well, I'm sure I ain't willing to leave a little girl in the woods to die when we got a doctor with us that can make a call. We can have Carlos take a look at it first. 
Nick ain't gonna like this. Not with what happened. You don't have to remind me of that, boy. Right. Sorry, sir. Like, it doesn't look like a human bite, bro. Uh, it looks like a, a, like a straight line gash, like a pool. You know what I mean? Like, something sunk, sunk its canines in and then you pulled. Clementine, are you feeling all right? I'm fine. Like something with sharp teeth, you know what I mean? Human teeth are omnivoric. We have flats and we do have sharp teeth, but they don't leave marks like that. Unless you really bite down really, really fucking hard and then pull. What? And you just believed her? You should have put her out of her misery right there. Dog bite my ass. I need a dog. <gasps> Keep your finger off the trigger, boy. Whoa! Whoa! What the fuck? You idiot! Every lurker for five miles probably heard that. You're the that. one telling me to fucking shoot her. Everybody just calm down for a second. Clementine, you okay? Damn, Nick. I just need a doctor. And then, and then I'll go. I don't want my arm to get infected. None of us want to get infected. That's the point. We got a doctor right here. Okay, he'll have a look. Now what the hell is wrong with you people? Okay, she's just scared. We're all scared, Luke. Don't act like we're the ones being irrational because we don't buy this bullshit story. No way she survived out here on her own. Why are we even arguing about this? Let me take a look. It's okay. Go ahead. He's a doctor. Damn, that must have hurt. Hmm. Whatever it was, it got you good. This isn't how we do things, man. When you're bit, you get put down. End of story. I'm not going through this again. No one's suggesting that. We could take her arm off. <gasps> uh, I know that worked for a cousin down in Ainsworth. We could try that. It won't do any good. You'll just be making it worse for the girl. It's crazy. No one's going to volunteer to do that. I would, if it means saving her life. Then what? How do we know it worked? You're being ridiculous. I'm just a little girl. I'm not going to hurt anyone. This is bullshit. Who's she? Sarah, what I say, stay inside. <laughs> Sarah said another person. I don't mean to be any trouble. I just want to stop the bleeding and then I'll go. You'll never see me again, I promise. And where exactly would you go? To find help somewhere else if I can. Carlos, we've been through this before. We all agree. We don't wait for shit like this. End of story. <sighs> so, what do you think? Was it a lurker? A bite like that? Could be anything. Only one way to find out. How? We wait. What? By tomorrow morning, if the fever set in, we'll know if she's gonna turn. In the meantime, we can lock her in the shed. What about my arm? It needs to get cleaned and, and stitched and bandaged. The girl is in bad shape, Carlos. We have all that stuff inside the cabin. We could probably get by Alvin, with it. please. But yeah, we can't do nothing. I'm not wasting supplies on a lurker bite. If it turns out you're telling the truth, I'll clean it and stitch it up for you in the morning. But... At least let me throw I'm some sorry. alcohol on it, bro, or something. Finger off the trigger, son. I ain't your son. Don't be like that, man. It's all right. Boy's got his mom's temper. Come on. Like, at least let me rinse this it out a little. Or let me throw some water on it, something. Turns, I ain't gonna be the one cleaning up the shit. Maybe. 
Maybe you could let me go? I wish I could. I really do, but it's too risky. Sorry. Chasers. Why are we doing this? It's fucking dumb. Because it's safer this way, and I'd rather be sure. Yeah, okay. <sighs> I can't believe this. Maybe there's a fishing line in here. I can use to sew myself up. A hook. It ain't the safest, but it might in work. Here. Damn. A line. I guess if I have to, I can use this for stitches. All right, cool. We're on the right plat, so we don't have a hook, but. A little table. A little hammer. I mean, Clem's gotta be no more than 50 pounds, so. Ow. <coughs> the dust in the game made my nose react to it, bro. <laughs> That was weird. Like, I literally felt the dust particles hit my nose and I sneezed. Hello. So let's use the hammer. Get this shit off. Get out this bitch. Well, we just have to fucking it. Find our way out. Yeah, Clem's super small. I mean, can't ex can expect her. He's gotta have stuff for stitches. <clears throat> oh, we're sneaking in. Like. I thought we were just gonna take off. I was like, we got something for wiring, like to stitch. Alvin and whatever the fuck the other bitch's name is there. So we can't go to the front door. I'm pretty sure this is the way in. So we got our hammer. <clears throat> Oh, the little latch, okay. No. Fuck. Well, at least we have a hammer still. Oh, 
I also got candles. Where y'all get candles from? Unless this shit was like abandoned. She's connected to somebody. There's no way she's out here by herself. She said she's out here. Fuck it, let him argue. You're not supposed to be in here. Hi. Can you please help me? I'm not supposed to talk to you. My dad can't know. What are you reading? A book? What book? Thanks. I like books. It's called The Gurgle. It's about transdimensional body snatchers. Cool. What happened to you? A dog bit me. Sounds scary. I bet it hurts. You want to see it? Uh, it really wasn't one of them. It really wasn't. Okay. Ew, gross. No, right? You have to be in <laughs> my dad does. <clears throat> yeah, I know. Help me. I need something to clean it with. Bandages. And I need to sew some of it up. It's too deep. My dad says we're out of real bandages. But I know where to get something to clean it. That's what this applies. I'll help you. Good. Thank you. I'm Sarah. I'm Clementine. We're friends. Right? We can be best friends. I haven't met another girl my age since way before. It's hard to be the only girl, you know? Rebecca is okay, but she's old. And that's Yeah, we're friends. Yes. Fuck it. If you help me. We're friends. Promise? It's important. Friends have to trust each other no matter what. Yeah, I, pro I mean if you Yeah, I promise. Me too. Friend. I mean, if you help me and take care of me and I take care of you, we friends. A pinky swears forever. I'll see if I can find the stuff my dad uses when I get a cut. Let me look around. I think this is it. That'll work. You can't do it here, though. Someone won't find you. Don't worry. I won't. Thanks, Sarah. Well, so many needles and bandages would be in here, right? There, yeah, buddy. It's clean. A pin cushioned. I'll still need some bandages, though. You might just have to use your shirt, girl. That man sometimes. That's what we all hide in here. Baby. 
let it be okay and let it be his. What should me let her be his? You being passed around, girl? That low key sound like she being passed around. Or she doing she doing a little she doing a little extra dances. I mean, with this pandemic going around, I wouldn't be surprised, given how many men there are, that to kind of take their turns. It's a nice little room. Oh, wow. <laughs> Park it in the watch. See it. Now I can know what Not time exactly it is. Exactly bandages. But they should help stop the bleeding. Global menace. All right, we out. Like just assuming she was Alvin, right? But I'm low-key wondering if she had hooked up with one of the other boys, like, during the time before she chose a partner, you know what I mean? Like, hooked up with a doctor, maybe one of the younger boys, just like, you know, maybe they had drinks, they were chilling. But Alvin don't know, maybe, because she didn't want to, like, tear up the group. So they all kind of had a little bit of... I mean, not all of them, but like I'm, I'm assuming one of them, right? Like one of the boys. I'm assuming the doctor. Just given the age, I don't think the I don't think the younger boys would have. But you never know. You don't know until you know. You know. This is gonna suck. Oh yeah. This is not about to be the business. At least they got all the infection out right there. Or like, you saw a bubble, so all the infection's coming out. All the icky stuff. Now, just like last time, just how Crystal showed me. Got this clam. It's fine. 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 Just do it fast. One more. 
One more. Well, I need to do two more. Oof. You got this climb. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah, buddy. Might want to do one more at the end. Just to make sure it all lines up. Yeah. Yeah, okay. There we go. There we go. Not bad. Not too bad. Drop her. from us this doesn't change a thing she hasn't done anything to us says the man not carrying a baby you left me no choice you could have just left relax rebecca i tried you guys told me no bring her in and i'll take a look at her arm damn lurker sneaking around out here we better get inside you hungry I'd have like an option, like <laughs> say something. <laughs> she kind of just was like, "No." Like, yeah, yeah, I'm hungry, bro. This might hurt a little. Ow. How she look? Her suturing skills need some work, but otherwise, I say she should be fine. So it wasn't a lurker bite. If it was, the fever would have already set in, and her temperature would be through the roof. That you mad nail. I wish you wouldn't have done what you did. I was hurt, and you weren't helping. Because we considered you a threat, which you were. Maybe you still are. No, I'm not. We put you in that shed out of concern for the safety of our loved ones. And then you escaped and persuaded my daughter to steal from us. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. But there are a few things you need to know about my daughter. Okay. She isn't like you. You may not get that initially. But once you're around her for a while, you'll understand. She knew how bad the world is, what it's really like out there. She would cease to function. She's my little girl. She's all I have left, and I would ask that you stay away from her. I'm sorry. I didn't know. 
It's okay. You're forgiven. Just don't make any more mistakes. I didn't know she was special, brother. My bad. Hey, uh, brought you some food if you're hungry. That's gonna leave one hell of a scar. Better than losing it. Now you can say that again. Scars? They're way cooler than stumps. <laughs> what? Nothing. Oh, Lee. I just had a friend who lost his arm once. That's all. Hey, look. I just want to say I'm sorry for well, for being a dick out there. I got kind of aggro, and that was definitely not cool. Nick's been known to go off every once in a while. Don't hold it against him. Yeah, I guess we all have our moments. You definitely had one out there. You were just protecting your friends. I get it. Well, I didn't mean to be so harsh. I just... Uh, we had a bad experience once. We've all had bad experiences. Nick lost his mom. We took care of someone who got bit. It was my fault. I... It was no one's fault. We thought we could control it, but we couldn't. And then she turned, and his mom was standing right there, and she got attacked. And there was nothing we could do about it. Anyway, hopefully you understand. Bad things have happened to everyone. So, since you're pretty much on your own, what's your plan? I'm thinking about moving on. Well, you're welcome to stay here if you want. You let yourself heal up, take some time to sort things out. Do you think everyone else will be okay with it? They'll just have to deal with it. So, what happened to your parents? If you don't mind me asking. I mean, I assume what happened to them is what happened to just about everyone's parents. You're just so young. Didn't think you could have made it on your own for so long, but maybe you did. They died. That's tough. I, uh, I lost my folks, too. Hey, I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't have asked. My parents went on vacation and left me with a babysitter. And they never came back. We went to Savannah to find them. But they were already dead. Wow. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. This man found me and took care of me. We met up with other survivors and we all tried to make it. But it didn't work. His name was Lee. He taught me how to survive. He's the reason I keep my hair short. What uh, happened to him? I killed him. He got bitten, protecting me. And I had to kill him before he turned. Wow. I had to.
I hate to interrupt, but I'm out there standing watch, and I can't help but notice this place is lit up like a goddamn beacon in the middle of the woods. Yeah, it's time to turn in anyways. Now get your winks while you can, because we're going fishing at first light. A couple fresh brookies for dinner? Hmm, wouldn't that be nice? You're still here. Bitch, what you mean I'm still here? I wouldn't like... be comfortable if I were you. Whose baby is it? Excuse me? If it's not Alvin's, whose is it? You shut your fucking mouth. <laughs> Don't talk to me like that. Oh, what? You can't pull some shit on me. I'm not my husband. You should watch your language if you're going to be a you mom. You should watch your ass if you know what's good for you. I knew you were going to be a fucking problem. You got what you came here for. Now go. I'm gonna tell him. How you holding up? I heard you got an earful from Rebecca last night. Once she gets going, there's no bringing her back. Her bark's worse than her bite. What's her problem? Yeah, well, she's got a lot on her mind lately. Bringing a baby into a world like this. How far are these fish traps? It ain't much. Well, maybe she shouldn't be fucking people. Anyone teach you how to shoot? By that I mean taught proper. Any idiot with a finger can shoot. My friend Lee taught me. That's good. It's important nowadays. Nick was about your age. First time I took him hunting. Came across this beautiful 13-point buck just standing there on the ridge line. The boy takes the rifle. He lines up the shot just like I taught him. And then I hear him start whining. He turns to me and he says, I can't do it. I can't shoot it, Uncle Pete. Please don't make me shoot it. Really? No way. Hey! Why didn't you wait? You want us standing around while you piss on a tree? You know where the river is, boy. Anyway, so I grab the gun out of his hand before the big buck runs off, when bang, the gun fires. Boy nearly gut shot me. And of course, the buck gets away. What are you going and telling her this shit for? Because you almost blew her face off yesterday. Seems relevant. Trying to let her know it's nothing personal with you. Why are you always giving me a hard time? Because you're always giving everyone else a hard time. I apologized already. She accepted. Okay, well I didn't know that. I want to hear the rest of the story. You're always trying to embarrass me. You're doing a good enough job of that on your own. Leaving us again. I know where the fucking river is. So anyway, I found that buck later that season. Shot it right in the neck. Brought it up to my sister's figuring she'd want to freeze some of the meat. Nick didn't speak to me for weeks. Sometimes you gotta play a role. Even if it means people you love hate you for it. He doesn't hate you. Nick's father wasn't there much. And he was a piece of shit when he was. So it fell to me to keep him in line. Raise him right. Meant I couldn't just be nice Uncle Pete. Uncle Pete! Nick! Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Ah, full of holes. 
holes. Who do you think did this? Not sure yet, but it ain't your average gang of thugs. That much I know. Think about it. Your Carver, what do you do? Who's Carver? Check those guys there. Be careful. Some of them might still be moving. What can I do? See if you can find anything else. Like what? Like what might tell us who did this. Can't tell these are the guys that were chasing us. It looked like them. This one's shot too. Through the head? Yeah. Check the rest. And look for ammo. We're running low. Can I help? I got it. There are more out there. This wasn't no rinky dink pissing match. What was it then? Fubar. Where are you going? We need to get the fuck out of here. Gotta check the rest. What? Why? Calm down and think about it, son. Calm down? We gotta get out of here now. Jesus Christ, get a hold of yourself. What if someone's alive, Nick? Who cares? Because they might just be inclined to tell us who did this. We gotta do this now. Stay here. Keep searching these. This is a dumb idea. You know, Nick, I don't like this either. But sooner or later, you're gonna have to realize a simple truth. What, that you're an asshole? That nobody in this world is ever gonna give a goddamn whether you like something or not. You gotta grow up, son. Whatever. Come on, Clem. You want to be useful? Keep a lookout on that tree line. Whoever did this might still be out there, waiting for another sucker to stumble across this mess, just like baiting a fish. I'm on it. You always so agreeable? No. Good. You'll fit right in with this outfit. Look, just keep your head on straight. Same deal. I'll shut to pieces. Hope this isn't anyone you know. No. Good. Damn it. More on that side. You check out these ones. See if there's anything on them that'll tell us who they were. her bag. <coughs> you were in the woods with Krista. The woman I was with. What happened to her? Please, tell me. Tell me! Please. <coughs> nah, you ain't got no water, bro. It's my water. Come on! Jesus! Ah! Ah! 
I was gonna climb. I was climbed. Bitten? Well, let's cut that bitch off. Someone came here looking for you. A man. What? Did he say what his name was? We know damn well who it was. Who is he? One of the guys we were with before. What's he gonna do? Can't keep going. I figure we got about four or five more days to reach those mountains. We ain't here to rob nobody. Just relax and put the gun down, man. I thought you were dead. Thought I was dead. So let's see. Um. 58% of us tried to save Krista. 32 of us killed the dog. 50 of us saved Nixology. How fuck you? Fuck that man. He don't get no water. Did you save Nick or Pete? Yeah, because Pete was Pete was our dog. Feel me? Alright, well, I want to say thank you so much for watching, you guys. That was The Walking Dead. Season 2, Episode 1. Um, yeah. Uh, all that remains is done. So next time we'll do episode two. But thank you so much for watching and enjoy the rest of your evening and you take care now.